Um, before we get into this reunion, let us be clear and let us be precise, concise, or whatever the words you want to use. Jackie Geronimo Christie is Basketball Wives LA. Period. Pern. Blank. Exclamation point. 100 sign. Target sign. Okay? Now y'all ready to talk about this episode? Girl, this reunion was a mess. Let's juice. Come on, Blazer. It's a beat for me. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Voodoo Doll TV, bake with a quick little joke, so whatever the case may be. And I know it's late, y'all. Please forgive me. I've been, you know, behind the power curve on these doggone shows. But listen, 2024 been 2024 and it's been a lot going on we only in what 17 18 days in girl my head hurt already it's gonna be a long 366 days yes this is a leap year now you know before we get into it i would like to say this was a horrible horrible reunion shout out to shawnee and the vh1 people for making this one episode we didn't need to drag this out i think other shows should uh should follow suit because this was that it didn't need nothing more than what we got honestly if it wouldn't have had a reunion i would have been fine with that too you know what i'm saying because it just didn't give what it was supposed to give the show it just didn't uh also um you know it's the irony for me as it pertains to the so-called ogs over there who, you know, Evelyn, mind you, would sit across the couch from Jackie and act as if she is the sole reason why there is a Basketball Wives LA. Um, that Two things can exist at once, but two fools also can exist. Girl, uh, girl no, we're going to talk about it. I don't want to get into it yet. But ultimately, the reunion had my face looking like this. You know, you see how um Jackie face looking, girl? Because it's just, it was so mid and low grade and it just didn't, uh, I got nothing from it. Nothing from it but a bunch of hypocrisy and nothingness, you know? But anyway, grab your things, get your earbuds, whatever it is you got to get, your look or whatever it is. And let's get into this episode or at least this reunion, child. Now, I'm going to tell y'all right now, this is in no particular order because I remember, but I don't really remember. I kind of skimmed over the episode again, but, you know, y'all just going to get it how I live if I remember the talking points. But look, so John Sally is hosting this reunion, and, you know, I don't like this because he's typically uh played favorites with Evelyn and all of them because, you know, they all know each other from back in the early 2000s when she was... um exploring because it's too early in the video to really say what I want to say you know so he knows she done smashed on about 12 of his homies you know in the in the league no probably just on his team so you know him and Evelyn go way back Evelyn and him go way back they know you know they was around there girl <laughs> I, nah nah anyways so I don't like that he hosted but um anyways it does give a sense of calm because these heifers are, are different Yes, they are. They are very different. So anyways, he's hosting this reunion. Here's the couch with Evelyn, Jennifer, and Brooke. And they are all opposed to Jackie on the other side. And I believe it's uh, Jaseel. Now, listen, they have been going back and forth on Twitter. It's been like popping. It has been alleged that uh, Jackie basically was saying that she going to pop one of them upside the head. And I said, I hope so, Jackie. Just give it to me one more time. Yes, it's specifically Evelyn. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know who Evelyn thinks she is, but she ain't whoever she thinks she is. So now look. They get into the conversation. Let's talk about this Evelyn versus Jackie thing. Now, Jackie and Evelyn been button heads. We all know this over Twitter. Uh, as we know her and Brooke, I'm talking about Jackie and Brooke got into it. Even though they ended the season straight, they ended up getting into it or whatever. And um, Jackie is just not here for it. And I understand why, because there's a there's a class system. You know, you remember how she was talking about a pecking order uh, when it comes to the wives. There's also a so-called pecking order as it pertains to this basketball wife stuff. Now, let me be clear. Uh, Evelyn came from... Orlando and uh Jackie is a legend that she came from over there because what nobody watching now we got to get into this part 
Jackie Christie is Basketball Wives LA. There's nothing else to talk about after that. It's a wrap. I don't care what Evelyn said. Oh, if it wasn't for us, we laid the groundwork. Yes, she did, girl. No, okay, now what? Just because you tied my shoes don't mean when I run, it's all, all credit goes towards you. No, ma'am. You did your thing in Orlando. Jackie said nobody want to watch your ass. That's why you carried your ass up to L.A. And it makes sense. It's just like, you know, listen. They asked Evelyn to come back. She said, up there, well, I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I went back and forth. Oh, bitch, please. You didn't have no money. Fashion over wasn't paying your bitch. The tees wasn't selling. You needed to come back. Period. Like, what are we doing here? What are we doing? And then for, um... John to ask the girls how they felt about her coming back. Look, um, what's her name? The girl, Jennifer. Oh, I was excited because I know she had fans. No, bitch, no, you wasn't. Y'all was beefing. That's why Jackie called you out. You a lie. You, you and me was looking crazy because y'all was beefing. And I understand Jackie. If I'm Jackie, I ain't gonna hold you. There have been multiple seasons of Basketball Wives LA without Evelyn Lozaya. And they have also been successful. They don't need her. And if I'm Jackie and this is my franchise, I get it. You know, so, Sean and not sold the, the ship up the road to the clear people. You know, that's what they do. They don't take it that part. But anyway, um, I get it. You know, Sean and makes a decision as an executive producer. But ultimately, this is Jackie's franchise. Like Evelyn had Florida, Orlando, Jackie is this one. It's just ever anybody and everybody, even if you like Jackie or not, will tell you that. She makes the show. She's the matriarch of, of the show. Hell, she's the only one married. Can we talk? She's the only one married on this show. So if we really want to be honest, she is the grand dame of Basketball Wives of LA. She is the Lanithia Leaks of Real Housewives of Atlanta. She is. She is, and, and when I say Lanithia, I know Lanithia pitched the show, so it's kind of different. But what I'm saying is, she is the girl. She is the main girl people are pulling up for. I mean, let's talk about it. I've been following this franchise since day one. I am a reality show queen, do you hear me? When I say that, I don't just be playing. I be on these reality shows. And I remember Basketball Wives Orlando with Evelyn and Tammy and all of that. It was lit it was popping uh with that girl uh what's her name with last name reed it was popping i remember all of those girls but when shawnee decided to franchise the the well not franchise but spread the franchise out to another city and she went to la i'm not gonna hold you the attention went to la it did the Evelyn and Tammy beef had them played out. It was all cool. Everybody was done and over with that. They were somewhat cool. It, it was just like, oh, the only addition to LA that we liked was Tammy. I ain't even gonna lie because we wanted Tammy on any and everything. Tammy is the girl that you want on every show, especially turn up Tammy, you know, but ultimately Evelyn was not needed. And Evelyn sits on this high horse because she so-called friends with Shawnee, even though allegedly they said she was smashing on Shag back in the day. And I believe it, bitch. Sure do. You know what I'm saying? But she really feel like she is somebody because she friends with um Shawnee and she gets to, I guess, what she deemed herself to be coming and going as she please. Girl, ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis, Evelyn. Girl, people was ready to boycott when they thought you was coming back uh this year. Girl, nobody wanted to see Evelyn. So for Evelyn to sit across the couch talking about, oh, if, if it wasn't for Orlando, you wouldn't be here. Yeah, in a sense. Meaning, if she hadn't started Orlando and it wouldn't have been successful, she probably wouldn't have started L.A. Or maybe she would have just started in L.A. and Jackie Christie would have still been there and woo the woo the woo the woo. The part is, Evelyn is not who she thinks she is. She was at a time, but not no more. She's just not. And she thinks because she's scissoring with, um, allegedly, <laughs> I'm playing though. But seriously, she thinks because she's over there scissoring with Shawnee that she could say and do whatever it is she want and she can't. Girl, ain't nobody coming up, girl, ain't nobody dealing with that from Evelyn, big head ass. Ain't nobody dealing with it. This, uh, couch, this, uh, city belongs to Jackie Geronimo Christie. Said what I said. I don't want to hear nothing else about it. It just is what it is. Evelyn could feel how she want to feel. Basketball Wives LA belongs to Jackie Geronimo Christie. Said what I said. And look at this bitch. 
Why is she at the reunion, Ike? Why is she here, Ike? Why is she here? I don't give a good goddamn if she's the executive producer, producer, executive, administrator. I don't give a good goddamn if that whole was typing papers in the background. Why is she here? She was only on five minutes of the entire season. She invited all them hoes down to her man church so they can sow a seed, a.k.a. spend their coin. Why he up there motivational speaking, passing it off as preaching. Girl, please. What are we doing? Why is she here? Like, I mean, it's just the way they put these people on these pedestals that really drives me, you know. But nevertheless, they asked her how she feel about um the relationship between uh Evelyn and the dude Evelyn never wanted. Now, she hollered. She knew that he wasn't for her, you know, because, you know... Evelyn likes a toxic ass Negro. Yes. She like her men to bop up upside the head or once or two, you know, one or two ying, ying, ying. She like her men to cheat, creep, 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 creep. She like that. She don't like a good man, Savannah. She don't know what a good man looks like if a good man slapped her in the face. You know what I'm saying? So that's all it boils down to, girl. None of the girls you are sitting across from even thinks that you like that that man. You know, they just don't. And the fact that they asked her or they told her that she didn't, um, she didn't even hug the man when, uh, he bought the flowers and she was like, I thought I did. You didn't bitch. Cause you don't like that man. You was using them. Hell, even a blind bat stuck in a cave could see that bitch, please. You was using a man. And, um, what's her name? Uh, 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 Shawnee could see it with her high nose ass, that whole nostrils do the lean back like Junior was doing in the doggone, in the, in the, not the car seat, in the little, <laughs> that little strap on, on Krishan, bitch. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, you use the boy. You use the boy. Both of the friends sitting on the left and the right and the dummy Lamont across from you, they all knew you were using him. And that's just is what it is. Now, Shawnee, like I said, done invited these folk down to the church talking about she just wanted the OGs. That's that separatism shit. Why you ain't invite everybody, bitch? You thought Jossie and them ain't have enough money to put in the collection plate? Because I know he got money. All he did was tell them, oh, go home and you going, your wearies and your weeps, you going to understand why you going through what you going through. And I don't understand why people go sit down and listen to a nigga tell them, yeah, bitch, you going to suffer. But ultimately, you know, it's, it's going to make sense later on. Bitch, what? What I'm coming to you for? I could have thought that myself, girl, bye. Anyway, the fact that, like I said, Shawnee is here. You know, I would say holding her nose up in the air, but as we all know, the nostrils do that on its own. But ultimately, she's sitting there acting like she's this bitch that she's really not. Long story short, uh, Brooke brings up the fact that uh, basically Jackie was talking shit behind her back. Now, Shawnee was like, yeah, I heard she said she wanted to slap me. She was asking, why am I here? But ultimately, as the executive producer, my name is on the credits. What's understood don't need to be explained. No, bitch, explain why you are here. Nobody asked for you, Shawnee, bitch. We been got you out of there, didn't we? So now, Jackie on the other end was like, first and foremost, I didn't say I was going to slap you. I said I was going to slap that bitch, Evelyn. And I said, go ahead on, Jackie. Go ahead on. She said, secondly, I wasn't the one who said you need to go find something to do and something else to play with. It was British. She said, British was the bitch who came out and said, you know, they had the billboard and all of that. And um, asking why we not on it or whatever. And, and, and she said, y'all need to go do preacher's wives. And I'm over here saying, well, where's the lie? She do need to go do preacher's wives. Bitch, get off of here. Ain't you got, ain't your man a, a pastor, a so-called man of the cloth? You do need to go do preacher's wives. It, it just is what it is. Now, I ain't gonna lie, Jackie, you did throw and slide British under the bus, but it's British. She locked up. What's she gonna do? You know what I'm saying? And even if she was out, what's she gonna do? It's just British. We don't care. But ultimately, yeah, she said, now, I did say that, you know, I don't worry about no billboard because we don't get paid from no billboard. But ultimately, it swings back to Evelyn being on a billboard when she is not basketball wise LA. She's not. She's not. I'm sorry, y'all. She's not. She's not. Girl, it, it just bothers me that they give this girl this type of privilege. Now, Evelyn is over there. Not Evelyn. What's this lady name? Shawnee, girl. Shawnee over there talking about, oh, 
Well, I don't know why you thought you had any sense of loyalty to these girls because these girls are going to come back and tell me everything that you say. But ultimately, you like my crazy sister that I know you kooky. You have a kooky way of showing your love or whatever. But Jackie, you know, that's messed up that you was over there. Say, girl, shut your ugly ass up, Shawnee. I don't like you, bitch. You know I don't like you, Shawnee. Bitch, I don't like you, hoe. You're over there looking like Santa's fucking wife, bitch. I don't like you. You know. Now, Jackie could go ahead and accept the apology or whatever, or accept the boo, but I don't accept it. Stand on your square, Jackie. Them hoes is trying to play you like you ain't that bitch, and you is. Listen, let me tell y'all something. If Jackie really wasn't that bitch, you know Jackie done swung on them and everybody on this cast. Y'all don't think Jackie would have been off the cast? If Jackie really wasn't that girl, do you not think Jackie would have been off the cast? You don't think like Evelyn, how they bring her in and out? You don't think they would have did that to Jackie? Girl, Jackie is that bitch. And like she said, it wasn't me. It was British. Now, Jackie got some receipts I'm going to put at the end of the video, y'all, of British saying what she said. But ultimately, Jackie, you don't have to explain that shit, bitch. If I said I'm going to do something, if I'm going to slap you, I'm going to slap you, bitch. I ain't going to tell you I'm going to do it. That's, that's the Jackie I'm talking about. You see what I'm saying? To see Brooke talk all that cash money shit's naive. But I ain't going to hold you. When Jackie was taking them shoes off, Brooke was tread light fat, tread light. Yeah, uh-huh. I be, at first I thought Jackie lost, but, you know, as the time goes on, I'm starting to feel like and believe Jackie put the paws on uh, Brooke. And that's why Brooke could talk cash money. She's naive, but she ain't going to bust her great. Do you hear me? Girl, let's move on. And look at these two bitches. Girl, now they say this is supposed to be Britney's real hell. And I said cap. I don't know why I just it's giving party city wig. It just is. I don't don't battle me, battle your mom. I'm just telling you what it gives to me. Now her and Clayana done came out. They didn't want to come out at first. Well, Clayana wasn't ready to come out. Uh, and Britney said she gonna, you know, stay with her, stay back with her like they in third grade. Like they just need a, you know, a friend. They gotta go by twos, you know. Whatever, girl. So anyway, she comes out, get the hollering about how it wasn't a sisterhood. She don't she don't question where God sent her on the platform. Girl, God ain't asked you to go join back basketball wise girl what is you saying but she said she left because it wasn't what it was we're not gonna spend too much time on this bullshit right here because this is a whole bunch of bullshit because ultimately why why did you even come back bitch you were smart you waited till the last dog on um episode to say you was gone you got your coin as you should but ultimately bitch you gave nothing to the show neither now her and Jocelyn going back and forth Jocelyn feels like you tried to drag me and say I'm a neutral nasty Jocelyn you is you is Brittany said I feel like the things that we talk about just don't translate in real life they don't Jocelyn it is what it is but Jocelyn also said I helped up for you and you basically didn't ever help up for me and she's right when you think about it Jocelyn did tell Brooke in a calm way that, hey, girl, you was wrong, you know, for body shaming a girl or whatever. And Brooke was like, yeah, but she told me I, my body was botched too. And I said, well, you know, they, that's that's both things are true. I ain't going to lie. They all, they just, uh, anyway. Nevertheless, uh, she said, but you never had my back yet. You wanted me to have your back. I understand both sides. Brittany feel like, bitch, we could talk shit and kiki behind the scenes, bitch. But when you get in front of them hoes, you act a different way. And Jocelyn feel like, bitch, I book hoes in a calm way, not the way you do it. Bitch, when I check a bitch, she don't even know she checked until she checked back. You see what I'm saying? So I was like, okay, I see both sides. But ultimately, Jocelyn, you was a little brown nose and I ain't gonna hold you. Even though I like Jocelyn more than anybody on this cast, well, except Jackie, Jackie Cree's ass. But I like Jocelyn. She's very much a neutral Nancy. And I understand why Brittany felt like she felt. Girl, look, Brittany over there saying they acting like it's a hierarchy. And it is. Ultimately, Brittany, like I said, you gave nothing, girl. Like, I don't... I, you know, every episode I was saying, get up out of here. So I don't understand what we talking about. You know, I don't know why they even centered this thing around you to make you feel like your opinion mattered when bitch, all you did was come through, almost get beat up by Brooke and then try to act like you wasn't fitting in as you tried to fit in. It was just weird. You know, now, you know, when you was crying over there, your ass turned orange like a goddamn fruit. It seems to me somebody put some bronzer on you, bitch. Tread light. Okay. Tread light. Now, she going back and forth with Brooke. Brooke basically telling her, you got to extend the same grace to us that you want us to extend to Kleana and to y'all. And y'all basically, you know, it's just the old hoes versus the new hoes and the young hoes, girl. It, it, this was so lame to me. This whole part was just lame. Like, Brooke, shut your big head ass up too, bitch. Shut up. 
Because y'all hoes acting like y'all didn't do nothing when y'all did. Everybody played aside. Literally everybody played aside and it just is what it is. Now, Brooke tries to tell them that she's not a millennial. She don't do this Twitter war back and forth. She don't do the online thing. And I'm saying cap. And so is Britney. Britney said, bitch, that whole couch is the Twitter thugs. Girl, what is you saying? All y'all hoes is on Twitter and they was. Going back and forth, Evelyn was all down my timeline and I don't even follow the bitch. You know what I'm saying? But she's not lying. So stop the cap. Y'all was on Twitter talking shit. Um, which one, Britney, you was talking shit in interviews. It, that's just par for the course. Like, what are we arguing about? This doesn't make sense. This, this reunion was so lame. Probably one of the lamest thus far. I ain't gonna lie. Now, Jackie, I got to call you down to the red carpet, bitch. Come on now. Come on up to the carpet, Jackie. You, when they asked you about how you felt about Britney coming on, you sat up there and was like, oh, I wanted to embrace her and da 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 And it turns out, girl, the people said you lying. You was dragging for her, saying she don't fit, all of this and that and the third. Jackie, just own up to it, girl. Just own up to it. And I get it. You don't know her. So your first impression is what you've seen online. I understand. But don't do that now. Now look at uh, Evelyn. Bitch, you a fake ass bitch. You lying. You said you don't like the fucking girl. And, da, 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 da. and I'm just saying. I'm I'm really like tapping my head right now. Uh, this is this. Who cares? It's Britney. Who cares? Ultimately, Jackie said, I treated her better than y'all did, and she did. Regardless of what she said, she did treat her better. Evelyn, y'all was acting like, you know, Evelyn tried to act like she wanted to be friends with that girl, Brittany, but she never wanted to be friends with Brittany. She didn't. She trust and believe she didn't. Because Brittany is the younger version of what she thinks she is. She too scared to bring Brittany around any of her men's. Trust and believe the same way Evelyn was sleeping with everybody else, man. I take your man when she was a young little thunder duck she knows that uh britney is that young thunder duck so she ain't crazy now cleana is a girl cleo is that the dress you had on in the um confessional bitch it's giving familiar it looked like one of them dresses you wore in a confessional bitch let me go back to my old video and find out and i'm gonna come back and drag your ass on a separate video bitch are you recycling clothes anyway girl cleo is on him Talking about how, you know, the girls were being being mean to her and, you know, they asked her where she from. That's what it was. She said when she first came on, uh, Jennifer got in her face. Well, not got in her face, but Jennifer was like, who you know, how you get here? And she was like, that wasn't a, a way to, you know, basically greet anybody and she felt some type of way i can understand no i can't because when when it was happening and i hate to, to take up for jennifer but when it was happening she didn't mean it like that you were just on go period so now jennifer was like you dumbass bitch i was trying to help you hoe um it gotta make sense to the audience how you came into the fold i understand i do but when you talking to if I'm Clayana and I'm talking to a group of bitches who think they're better than me, bigger than me, yada, 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 I would understand the hesitation of even receiving it. Does that make sense? And and also, ultimately, Jennifer, girl, you were going back and forth with Cleo talking about, oh, yeah, this your first time on TV. Oh, I'm this, I'm that girl. Jennifer, you have been fooled on TV all your days. I mean, other than maybe your business ventures, TV has not done good wonders for you, girl. You look a mess. She look a mess, she look a mess, she look a mess. Every man done came through it. Girl, you look a mess, Jennifer. It's not It's not doing what you thought it did. It's just not, you know, it's, it, it's not. It's, it's not, it's not. Now, Cleo is going back and forth with Jennifer. What happened right here? I don't know. I think Cleo, they asked Cleo about what's been going on. And she said they tried to basically put it on me or put it on the new girls as if we was a problem when really it was them. She said, you know, now I did... Uh, get into it with Jocelyn and I apologize to Jocelyn and um that was that she said but you know with the Jennifer thing you know basically that whole guy what she deserved and I'm over here saying shout out you know shout out Cleo now John Sally asked Evelyn what he think or what she thinks where did she think things went wrong she said well it started with uh Vanessa trying to drag for uh, or get information on Jennifer old man she was putting it all on them she said and then you know Brittany throwing a drink on Brooke and then Cleo trying to fight everybody at the party, basically putting it all on the girls, the young girls, as if she had nothing to do with the drama. And that's just, it's, that's silly to me. 
Now, they asked Jackie where she feel like things went wrong. Jackie was like, I don't know. I pulled Cleo to the side to uh, try to get her to feel comfortable, ask her what's going on. Cleo wasn't trying to hit. She felt played already, so it, it was just up, and that just was what it was. But I tried to help her, but it was obvious she was on her, you know, her one, two. Like, she was already ready on set and go, you know. I couldn't do nothing about it. Now... Now, when it comes to Cleo at this party, Cleo, you was on 10 and couldn't nobody get you down to five. It just was what it was. You, you was ready. You was ready. Rather they say you got carried out or whatever, you know, they kind of cut the scene. But I think you fighting Brooke was out of your league or trying to. I think Brooke would have bop you upside the head. I do. But ultimately, girl, you... <laughs> You just never had good energy when you came around, Cleo. You never did. Um, uh, yeah, you, you, you and Van almost had similar energy. It's like Van had like crook energy, but you had like bad energy. Like you just didn't want to be there. And if you and Brittany didn't want to be there, in my opinion, why was y'all there, Ike? Now John asked her about pushing. Uh, what's that girl named Jennifer? Girl. Now Jennifer feels like because. She was pushed at the restaurant. She was warranted by getting in the club and calling a girl a hoe. Told her it must have triggered you because it's true. Uh, Clayana said, no, bitch, you the one brought 50, 11 men on the show. Not me, bitch. One baby daddy, one baby. Like, bitch, no, don't put me onto you. Like, don't put you onto me. I'm sorry. Bitch, you are the hoe. Jennifer, girl, go lay down because you look like you almost shitted on yourself when that girl ran up on you. Stop it now. Y'all got to stop with all of this. Jennifer, again, you, you can say what you want, but you can't expect you out of everybody else. So when Cleo ran up on you, it was what it was. Like, oh, we, I don't know. Maybe my, maybe because I'm just not interested in this. Moving on. Now, her and Cleo get the going back and forth about Jennifer old man and Jennifer won't holla because I'm a wife I'm a I'm a fiance y'all hoes love doing that oh yes until mad they come the nigga done left you you know girl I, whatever but Cleo said bitch don't nobody want that nigga he's a scammer he don't nobody want him he, quiet as it's kept you know to me in my opinion you know I call Jennifer the the super of LA I do she is super LA Jennifer wants us to believe that this man got money. He bossed up in her words. And, um, and you know, and, and he just really there for her. Girl, that man about to scam you out of everything and your draws, girl. Girl, you don't, you don't even see it. I don't understand how you, your eyes be open and you still can't see nothing. I, I don't get it. You know, you have, you been medically diagnosed as blind, bitch, because he about to take you for everything you got. He really is. He really is. And here's the gag. When John Sally asked this duck, duck goose if she was going to get a prenup, she said she'll entertain it, but, you know, it ain't the first thing on her list. Oh, you poor dummy, dummy. Oh, look at the dummy, y'all. I can't wait till this shit go the way it's going to go because she's just so stupid. She's just so stupid. Like Cleana said, bitch, you done been scammed by 50, 11 men and you still haven't got it. She said she got degrees. That's how my gent said she got degrees. Cleana said, bitch, I got two, but you still somehow stupid. She ain't lied. She ain't lied. I, I keep telling y'all degrees don't make you smart. I keep telling y'all and I got two. I keep telling y'all, having degrees does not make you smart or intelligent. It just means you can pass a test. I'm telling y'all, because look at Jennifer. The, ain't she like Von Shea and them, all them degrees and still stuck on stupid? Girl, bye. That nigga about to take you for everything you got. And honestly, that was the end of the episode, girl. Clayana just sat there and watched her, you know, boast her man up. He a bossed up. He bossed up. Girl, bye. We don't believe that shit. We believe that shit, girl, just like we believe in Santa Claus. Anyway, now that the episode is over, the season is over, I hope they never come back. Period. Now, let's get into these receipts, child. So, shout out to Jay's reality blog on Twitter. Basically, they came out with the receipts of, basically, it was British saying, you know, that them hoes don't need to be there and talking about all of this other stuff with the with the dog on Billboard. Check it out. I had y'all own shit in Miami, and yeah. y'all shit got canceled because nobody wanted to watch y'all no more. How the fuck did all of y'all end up in L.A.? I don't get it. I don't either. Y'all don't know what stuff going on. Again, I'm thank y'all for the way y'all want to be and stole our fucking credit. Now, basketball, they just come up just basketball-wise now on fucking Wikipedia. That basketball-wise LA, that been just basketball-wise. No, like, the shit is crazy to me. Not all of a sudden, now Los Angeles is at the end of the name all of a sudden again because we ain't had it for five seasons. I don't
don't get it. Like, but we, at the end of the day, basketball wise, Los Angeles is Jackie Christie, and it's not me talking shit or me being funny right. or me like, because I love you, of course. But this right. is just what it is. You know, I know. Because at the end, at the end of the day, right? When y'all, and it's not. I'm not trying to be funny about this either. Yeah. Evelyn, a shiny. Nobody right. wants to watch y'all. Right. Nobody cares. Like, uh, it's like in your face, Jackie. And I'm like, why? Girl, I ain't tripping. Now, y'all heard that. And normally, I would never agree with a scammer. But at this part, I don't know if she was on a jail phone call. I don't know what was going on. But she did not tell a lie. Brit British, what's her name? She said every single thing that was one trillion percent true. Why Why is it that they coming up to LA, they done stole the franchise, and for a long time, it literally only said basketball wives. Not basketball wives LA, not bas it was just basketball wives. But that was so that they can put Evelyn, Shawnee, so that they can put Evelyn back to the forefront. They really is trying to steal the doggone show, and it is Jackie Christie's show. I will start the video with that, and I will end on it, and I will stand on it. Basketball wives LA belongs to Jackie Christy, Jackie Geronimo Christy. If it was all encompassed upon, uh, what's that girl name? Um, Evelyn, then the show would not survive without her. Yet it did at the beginning and it did throughout. So, girl, <sighs> British didn't lie on this. We all know she lied on a lot of things. That's why she down there in the clankety clank. But on this situation, she didn't lie. And Evelyn, you, not Evelyn, yeah, you, Evelyn and Shawnee, ain't nobody coming to see y'all. Ain't nobody, don't nobody want to watch y'all? Don't know, I promise you don't nobody want to watch y'all. I promise. Anyway, y'all drop down in the comments and let me know what y'all think about all of this, girl. I am done with Basketball Wives LA. Hopefully, it don't come back. If it do, just without Evelyn and I'm good. But like I said, drop down in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on all platforms, and I'll see y'all hoes later. Bye. Mr. Carroll, how you give the voodoo doll time to talk? I don't get no fucking time to talk. Who the voodoo doll is? The nigga you just had up here.